Wait guys, before this video go any further, before you watch this video, I am giving away some brand new KG1s for $30. All you gotta do is cash out me right now or Venmo me. We currently got 111 people entered right now. We're going up to 250. Once all slots are sold, I'm going on Instagram Live and YouTube Live and I'm picking a winner. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm out now. Wait, I'm back. I forgot. Don't forget to put your full name and your phone number when you see your payment so I can have you on the list. Don't forget that, please. What's up YouTube, it's your boy Pop Class. We are back with another video. A lot of y'all been asking, where's my Harley Davidson? Y'all know I had a Harley Davidson and it has been on channel in a minute. So today, I'm bringing it back to the channel. There's different content. I don't know if y'all gonna like it or not. For the people that's new to the channel, it's the 2013 Harley Davidson Street Glide. I have a 30 inch rim for it. I have all the pieces, the parts and everything. I guess in today's vlog, we're gonna go ahead and take it to the shop, get this thing going, cause I've been waiting. I've been waiting a long time. I've just been procrastinating about doing it, but today I'm gonna actually do it. But first, before I take it to the shop, I know the battery is dead. The bike been sitting for a long time. I haven't been riding it. I gotta get the clutches changed also, so they're gonna do that as well so make sure y'all like comment subscribe to y'all the best follow me on instagram at poppy clutches if you can just give me one second with a snap of a finger the bike will be right here now one two and three they go to harley right here it's a 2013 street glide i barely ride the bike you only have six thousand miles on it and i just got to add to my fleet man it's pretty much stock i do got some red LED lights that the previous owner put on it the lady that we got it from owned it since it was six miles that's exactly what it said on the title uh it's not too much to explain on it i'm gonna get the bags that extend out right here it's grandpa owned like a super super mint condition the bag did go dead because I had the lights on those LED lights I'm gonna take the seat off for y'all don't worry about this little wire that's right here this is what the previous one did I'm just now seeing this but I got to take this battery off and go get a new one because I guess for hard it's a different ball game I got to get right there and take it out because that battery is huge man almost like a little mini car battery so I gotta go ahead and take this out battery is big bro and I hope I don't gotta get this from Hard Davidson because they do got a Hard Davidson sticker on here and Hard Davidson parts is expensive I don't know how much a battery be but this is definitely a Hard Davidson battery because they got it right here too I know you're not supposed to put batteries on the concrete but this run right here is already bad I just gotta go see if they got this at Advanced Auto or Walmart or something so I'm gonna run up here and I'm gonna bring y'all along so I just made it to AutoZone which is my first stop I think I'm gonna leave the camera in here due to me trying to hold this big battery and open the door and try to do the transaction. I'm gonna leave my camera, then I'm gonna show y'all once I get the battery. So let me run this in here and I'll be right back. So apparently this store right here does not have it in stock. The store around the corner have it in stock, but I paid for it at this store. And all I gotta do is go pick it up around the corner. But I did tell them I wanna keep my battery just in case. I wanna have this as a backup battery, even though it don't work. I don't know, I'm not gonna let them have this battery for only $10. I could probably find somebody that could repair it or, I don't know, for in the future, I can still have this or so. I did pay for this one, I'm gonna go pick it up. All right, YouTube, so we're currently back at the house. I feel like it was kind of pointless for me to keep throwing in the AutoZone footage. I got the battery back at home. I'm about to slap this thing on. I'm about to show you the battery I got for $130. I feel like it was kind of expensive, but I needed it. I needed to get this bike back running. And also, I wasn't going to let them keep that other battery because I feel like I never checked to see if the battery was actually bad. I just assumed that it was bad, but I still want to keep it as a backup. I'll probably get it charged, and it'll probably just be a backup battery. So... So I have to use my 10 millimeter wrench in 30 seconds of my time. I got that new battery back in. And I kind of want to start it right now, but then again, I want to put this stuff back on. But I'm going to see if it still got power though. Let me see. I already got power. So I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff back real quick. And then I'll start up for y'all. So we got everything back on. And this is about to be the moment of truth where we start this thing up because I swear... I haven't heard this thing make a sound in a long time, so. I honestly have not heard this thing start up in about five or six months, but I brought it back to life. Yeah, as you can see, the paint is still in good condition. Need a good wash, probably a good buff too, but that's all gonna happen when I come back from the shop. I'm about to call the shop up. I'm gonna see what can I do, see if I can bring it to the shop right now, or if they want to bring it tomorrow morning, but I'm about to call them right now and see what's going on. Wait, I forgot to mention, before I call them, this is the stock exhaust on this bike. 
I do want to put an aftermarket exhaust on here so it's not a little more beefy. The reason I always prefer my exhaust to be a lot more loud is because when I'm driving on the street and stuff, I want the driver to be able to hear me over there music and stuff because when it's this quiet, if I come up on a driver or something in the car, they may not hear me. They might try to merge over and get in my lane and not know that I'm right there and they might hit me off my bike. But that's that thing running right there. It sounds real good. I'm going to go call them real quick though. I did say that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and give them a call real quick and see what they say. Hi, this is Xavier. I called like yesterday and the day before to bring my Hardy up there. I just ran into some problems by bringing it. But I was wondering if I'm able to still bring it today since I have free time and I got the bike running. What would you have it done, Xavier? Uh, I wanted the rim put on. It's a 30 inch rim and the clutch is done. You wanted to what? I wanted to install the 30 inch rim and get the clutches done on it. Oh, okay, that's right. Okay. He's on the phone. I'll ask him about it. Okay. But if you you said you have it running and you want to go ahead and bring it? Yeah, I needed a battery for it and I want to go buy the battery today, so I got it running now. I want to say, yeah, you should be able to, but I just want to make sure. Okay. And what time do you guys close today? Six o'clock. Okay. So do you bring it to me on Friday? On Friday? Yeah, because I have a full house right now. I really don't have any room for another bike. All right, so that'll work. Friday, a whole bunch of these bikes should be gone. All right, that'll work. Room for you. All right, thank you. Okay. I'll, I'll bring it for sure on Friday. Yes, sir. We'll see you then. All right. Thank you. All right, there you go. You heard it from the owner of the shop about how to bring it there Friday. I waited too long. It rained out here, and I didn't have time to work on this bike, put the battery on. This is our first Sunday after like a whole week. So I will be taking there Friday morning. I will be there when they first open. So I guess I got to pick this vlog back up on Friday. And uh, I guess I'll see y'all. So we're going to take this to day two of this vlog. And y'all experience how Atlanta is. I'm guessing you can tell right here. This is exactly how it is. It's very congested. The roads is terrible. The neighborhood is terrible. They need to do something working over here, but uh, so much traffic. Atlanta is congested right now that I don't think we don't need anyone else to move out here. It's already bad enough. And then on our highways, some highways we got six lanes, and that's definitely not good for motorcyclists because them too many lanes. You don't want somebody to merge to a lane and you get hit off the bike. All right, guys, so it's literally one month later, and I finally got the phone call that I could bring my Harley today. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this moment, but the shop been super, super busy. They've been saying they can't get me in just yet, but today I got the phone call. I can't drop it off. I will be getting my 30-inch rim installed on this bike. Oh, my God, I just forgot. I didn't bring my rim outside. I got to get that loaded as well. I got all the parts right here that I need. I got my fender. I got my shocks. I got my brakes. I got my triple tree. I don't know what's inside that box, so I'm still bringing it just in case because he kept stressing it, saying that I hope you have all the parts. If you don't have it, I won't have it done by Friday. But so hopefully by Friday, I will get this bike back. For future shows that I go to, I will be bringing a Harley as well. I'm going to buy me a little trailer where I can put the Harley on it to my uh, Yukon. I think it's time to start adding to the fleet. I do got my Yukon. I got my Harley, but I think I need a diesel, y'all. So y'all comment down below, should I buy a diesel? I'm really looking at it. I think I'm just about to go ahead and get it. I'm trying to wait till the price go right down because the market is so high right now. But I think I want an F-250, like a newer model, like a 17, 18, or 19 model. I've been on car grooves all day long on Facebook Marketplace all day long. I don't want to buy one built. I want to buy a stock. I feel like with me buying a stock, I will appreciate it more and I'll know that I did my own work to it. But yes, this is my Hart Davidson in the background. As y'all saw in the first clip, I want to go buy a body for it. I want to uh, get everything I needed for it. I'm going to do a full walk around of everything I got for it hard before I drop it off to the shop and y'all can see. And hopefully I got everything, man, because I don't want to go way over there and I don't got everything, but I think I do. I think there's everything I need. Let me show y'all. got this fender right here. You see right here up under this wrapper, if I can pull it up something to show y'all. This is my uh, my fender for the 30-inch rim. He told me don't get it painted just yet. He want to drill the holes first, then get it painted because he don't want to mess up the paint after it, uh, it get drilled. This is my fork legs right here. I'm going to open this box for y'all so y'all can see. Fork legs right here. We're going to make sure everything in the front is chrome. So those are my fork legs. This is my uh, brake caliber right here. This is chrome as well. My brake pads inside that box. Right here, I have my triple tree. I got all the pieces for it. I don't know all these pieces name or anything, but it's everything the box came with. Of course, I noticed the neck. I don't know why. This is supposed to be brand new. I don't know why I got corrosion on it, but yeah, this is triple tree and everything. This is American Suspension. Uh, this is the box. I don't know what this is. I'm thinking it's going like near the light or something. I'm assuming that's what it looked like it would go. I don't know. Let's see. I think that goes right here, to be honest, y'all. I think I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna still take it up there just in case. I also wanna put an electric kickstand on the bottom of it so I don't have to keep kicking off like that. It's just 
look better, you know. And then was going to the trailer and I strap it down. It'd be jacked up in the middle of the bike instead of lean over like this. Because I don't want it to fall over on the trailer. Uh, what else I want to do to it? I want to do a double dent right here. I got so much stuff planned for this bike, y'all. Let me know. Should I keep this on there? This, I don't know. I got to see if other people with 30 inch rims got that on there. So, because I want to know. Pretty sure I showed y'all the rim already. But just in case if I didn't, this is a 30 inch rim that will be going on that big boy right there. About to go ahead and go drop this thing off. I'm so excited. I might not sound like it, but I am excited because I it's just been sitting for so long. I got to enjoy it. So, why not? And I'm doing it at the wrong time. It's about to get caught outside, y'all. And I'm really about to try to sit here and put this rim on here. That's so bad. I'm bad at time. I could have been riding all summer, but I decided to do it right now. But owning this Harley is like a different type of automotive world. Like, I'm not into the motorcycle clubs or anything like that. I just want to have a Harley, take it to the show, ride it here and there. But I'm not too big on even like riding anymore. But I just want to have it just for show purposes only. I got a lot of stuff planned for it. I hope y'all go enjoy this video. I got to go hurry up and drop it off at the shop because I got other stuff to do today. We're going to go make this happen. And I'll see y'all at the shop. y'all we just made it over to the harley shop you can see right now it's a lot of them if y'all look at this bike right here this is exactly what i want you see i got his lights right here and the bags come back right here so i got a seat this thing look good you see i got his double in that's exactly what i want i love this setup right here i guess he like transfer everything for his mileage and uh miles and everything to be right there but this is exactly what i want that whole setup right here this is what i want i love it and i see i asked y'all earlier in the video should i keep this on there I see everybody still got theirs on it, so that's why I'm not gonna take off. I keep it on there, but this bike is beautiful. Did, did it came like a kit? Uh, yeah, I had ordered everything, but I can't remember what this was for. Though that's the thing. This is what I got for the fork legs right here. Mm -hmm. And you want to open it or it's fine? Uh, well, I'll have to check uh, later on. Okay. So these are chromes. Yeah. That's what you're installing, right? Chrome yeah. ones. Okay. This is the caliber right here. Do you have the uh, the front rotor? The rotor's already on the rim. No. Um. You're probably no, no. On the on the thirty inch is already on there. Oh, it's already installed. Yeah, yeah, okay. it's already on there. Okay. Yeah, he told me that uh, to go ahead and just get this drilled, but don't install it yet. He said for uh for him to just drill it and then I go back and go get it painted and then come back and get it installed. So we have to drill it. Yeah. Okay. And what about the brake lines? The brake lines. Yeah, because remember, you're putting a bigger uh, yeah. rim, so it's gonna travel more. So we can probably find that for you. That's something cheap. You know, if we need one, we'll just tell, hey, you need a brake line. It'll be this Call me and then, day. okay. We'll order uh, it. And if there. anything, I'll just go home. I got another box. I just couldn't tell if it was, if, if y'all need that stuff, but it might be inside that box, the brake line and stuff, but yeah, I can check this normally, out. Um, when do you do this kind of setup, you need a, br a brake line, a longer brake line for the it's, traveling. It's, yeah. What about the the that has the bearings on and the spacers and everything? Am I missing it? Okay, I see the bearings on. Okay. So, um, normally at the side of these, uh -huh. they go with a chrome spacer when you get. These some wheels come with it, other ones they don't come with it. So okay. you have to per get it apart. Apparently this one didn't come with it because okay. this, this was what you got, right? Yeah, yeah, this is all I got. So you might need those from space, I'll show you. In a okay. Second. You see these spacers right here on your stock? Oh, and it is double caliber, you see? It is oh. double caliber. You see? Mm. Well, you we can, we can eliminate one mm -hmm. and just do it um, because with a 30 inch wheel, you know, I don't want to be flying around. Yeah, exactly. You know, that's something more for show. Yeah, badass. and that's what I'm going. I'm not going to. This bike only got 6,000 miles. On. I'm not going to so ride it anyway. So we can just go ahead, eliminate one. So definitely, you need now the the um, brake line mm -hmm. to convert from from two brakes to just one. Okay. So and then what I was talking about, you see these spacers right here. I got you. So these spacers, they come in chrome, mm -hmm. so it can match everything. It can match your chrome yeah. forks, it can match your, your rim, every, so it, everything can look clean and nice. Okay. So you, you don't want to put a badass rim yeah, with, you with know, something, something aluminum, yeah. yeah, right there. So yeah, we can get those. Okay, I'll get that too. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yes. 
got your stuff. Okay. Man, let me give you something. I know for sure I'm gonna need to order some uh those bags that go like this, but Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wanna do it like a different exhaust setup because of yeah, course the, the pipe. Yeah. Yeah, for that kind of uh, that's what I was gonna show you the, the this tracks exhaust, mm -hmm. which is not in this Canada, I thought it was. So they when you're looking at something like this. Uh, I'll show you okay. in a second. See that exhaust right there? Oh, that is nice. Yeah. That is nice. That is like well, dime. Can... Is that diamond because it just like holds for it to breathe? Uh, no, this is like a scream something, oh, you know, okay. and it's a heat shield, so you, yeah. it, it don't it don't get like really really hot, yeah. so you don't burn and stuff like that. But you can get something like that, so you can have the the bags in the yeah. side. It's but, nice. I mean, something like that, you you can talk to Phil. Yeah, and he will coat you all of that. Okay. But yeah, you can tell them, hey, I like the style that you mm -hmm. have over there, blah, you know, all of that stuff. That's nice. I don't think this is a 30. What is, uh, what it is. looked like a 26, it looked like a leaf. Yeah, 26, that's yeah. what it is. So pretty much, you know, but this one's all black, that's it up. Yeah. But that, that that's the kind of sauce that you're looking for. I love yeah. that bag setup, that look nice. Yeah, those bags, so yeah. yeah. How often do y'all do 30s? I do a lot of 30s. Um. I think we have been so far like two or three bikes already. Okay. A lot of people tell me that you it don't it don't ride the same after you put the thirty on there. Mm, it's a little bit tricky. Yeah. You have to have some little bit of skills, but not nothing big. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing I can handle. So yeah, I mean, they just call Phil when he whenever he's, he's here. Okay. And he will quote you whatever you need. All right, I appreciate. It. What's your name? Luis. Luis. All right, nice to meet you, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. I really appreciate Luis over here at King Custom, man. He told me a lot of information I did not know. Like I told y'all, this is a totally different world. I don't know this stuff. He just told me a lot of stuff that now I know. I'm going to do my research on a lot of stuff. I just dropped the Harley off and. I don't know nothing, y'all. I'm just new to stuff. I just want, I just want to show bike, honestly. And there's a lot of show bikes out here. Like this is, I don't know, it look like there's a lot of competition out here because this is a lot of different type of bikes. You got these little like street fighter bike. You see, this is like a street fighter right here with the, with the filters coming out on the side. You got like a, I don't know, a vintage type of bike. You got a nice Harley right there. Mine's obviously right there. This thing right here is bad, man. I like that seat. It's like diamond cut seat. Love the handlebars on this bike right here. That's a double den. I don't want that type, but that's something I want right there. I love the color and bags on this bike right here. I am gonna do some pipes on mine. It's a lot of different type of bikes. This color right here is so gorgeous. I think I've seen this bike before on uh, Wednesday night bike night. I think I've seen that bike already before. You got a chopper right here. Jeez, this is a lot of different type of bikes out here, y'all. Now this one right here, I think it's like a 26 too. This thing look good as well. Like I said, man, I really appreciate Luis up here at uh, King's Custom. Pretty sure I'm going to gang a Harley cross. Probably going to be older guys that ride bikes. I'm like the youngest around this area. Probably in my city that's going to own a Harley and have a 30-inch room in there. You heard he said that he only did like two or three of them since they've been at this location. They've been here for a minute, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to be the youngest around here that got a 30-inch. I don't know how the ride difference is going to be. It rides smooth right now, but I hear a lot of stories about like when you put a 30-inch on there, it ride different, so I don't know how it's going to be. I really want to get into this world, though. I think it's going to be an enjoyment. I can't wait. It's gonna look real good. I'm about to shut the Yukon game down, y'all. A fleet is coming. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, do the best. Follow me on Instagram at Poppy Clutches. At 250 might come too. So uh, watch this ad, and yeah, we might do something different.